to print reports, navigate to academic reports. We'll start with this reporting period for this example. And remember, you can click here to select the right reporting period to find the report or reports that you'd like to print. The first thing to remember is that you can print a summary report from any of the data entry screens for any of the subjects on the report. To demonstrate that, I'll choose this kindergarten class. This is useful when printing data for quick reference, for example, a parent interview or a staff meeting. Let's have a look at that again. Note the printer icon in the top right for each of these subject pages. The reports generated give you a quick view of the results for that class for that subject, or KLA as shown in this example. To print final reports, summary reports or grade distributions, navigate to the Print Reports menu a bit further down. From the Print Reports menu, the format changes, providing some more options. The process is the same for final reports, summary reports and grade distributions, with only a few minor variations, and it depends a bit on exactly which report you're after. Let's print a final report for that kindergarten class. Note that for final reports, ensure you have selected the right template, as there may be more than one option. In this case, there is a long list of templates, but we'll stick with the first one. Select other required options. You can print reports by school year, class cohort, class, house, or by student. Notice as you select further options, the selections change on the right. In this example, I'll choose by school year and select kindergarten. Then click generate reports. The printable document is generated. Now, this is just a sample and the report template for your school can be configured to meet your school's requirements.